All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presence. My presence? You're both too sweet, thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Um, have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the car to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? She has the key. She has the master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing looking mighty suspicious, I say? I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh, here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved, I kill for a chicken parmesan right now. Maybe, uh, maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry, a resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. D D D D. Is that it? I have more if you'd like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm satisfied for now. Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Cody and I here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the, this, this library car where Amy told me and SBO to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself more comfortable. You know what I'm saying, Tails? Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by rolling the monkey, by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. There's so much going on right now. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector Net or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. Uh, we're just going to peek around and uh, we'll ask questions later, whatever. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Shut up. 
And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Their alibis seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we are looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if SBO was actually in the library car reading. A tall task. Let's get to the bottom of this. Absolutely. Okay, um, this is suspicious. This Chaos Cola thing. Yep, very suspicious. Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh my! Cody, look at this. There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. That is stealing. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's stalactites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Nobody. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. Who can't be beat either? Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about spagnite, spag, spagonia. I, you know what, people? I, reading's hard. If you've ever been there, <laughs> I have actually, if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. What? They'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Sure. What else can we click on here? Whoa. Okay, a chow. I almost said a cow. <laughs> a chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Huh? This little chow's hanging there. Refusing to use its wings to uh, to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? I mean, I don't know, maybe. Ugh. There's books on the floor. That's suspicious. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Um, trash bin. Something's always hidden in the trash. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Uh, really thought there would be something there. Cody, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, 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 no. I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Cody, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? I don't know. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Okay. Is there anything else I can click on? Wait a minute. This book. What's that bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. I don't know if I'm saying half these words right. I hope I am. 
or I sound really stupid. Um, is there anything else? There is this, but... Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. And it's unlocked. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's got to be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock. Added. All right, Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be, I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Huh. But what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Um, let's just... Oh, we don't have enough evidence yet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Nothing like cold cuts for a cold case. Let me know if you need any good butchering. Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, I guess I can look over here. Wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the books. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. But <laughs> don't. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order. But this one, the Mirage Express Manual, it's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. All right. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and SPO. I agree. Fancy a poem? No. How about a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Thanks. <laughs> Tails, you would like that one, you weirdo. What's wrong with you? Huh? All right. So, the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that. I don't trust you either. I don't trust either of you. But I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Cody and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles and Espio? Really? Like, are, were you really reading... Huh? Where are you reading? Tell me. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Oh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough. It seems Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. It seemed to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but you were actually reading the entire time. You were in the library car. Of course he was. Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. Oh, interesting. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Cody, could you help me out? All right. You know, I definitely know what book it could be. It could be this one. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh, I'm thinking. Get out the dream gear. Get out the dream gear, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, what's that? Oh, we're... It's getting more difficult. Got it. Man, this is a lot of work. Just to think.
Uh, are you kidding me? I missed one ring. You were both grasping. I knew it. We got this, Cody. Let's try again. I'm sorry, Tails. I just didn't think hard enough. I'll try better this time. I'll, I'll do. I'll do a much better job. I cannot believe I didn't get enough rings. No! I fell. You were grasping. I knew it. Yeah, shut up, Tails. I know. I'll get it this time. Why can't you think? You ever think about that? Why can't Tails think? I think I'm going to get it this time because I am doing way better. Nope, not today. How many do I got? Oh, okay, I got it this time. I got it this time. Don't you worry. I got 58 rings. How about that? There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. I'll accept this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked up the manual and put it back in the correct, incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like USBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like that. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SPO. A butcher and a poet friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Cody, if you don't mind. Could you ask SPO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz SPO about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? 362. Okay, um... What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms during events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SPO aced that question. Cody, hit him with another one. All right. Page 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, Cody. All right. Uh, page 402. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations, huh? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. This uh, The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your stupid little test? Yes. Totally. It's wild. You were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read... You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Tails can't believe it. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Cody? He always puts me on the spot. All right, what, what piece of evidence was it? Is it the map? Not sure what you're trying to say with that. Don't waste my time. Not sure that's right, Cody. Okay, I'm stupid. It's the lock. Shadow's lock. Please pray tell. 
what this has to do with anything. We're up, Cody. Let's get our argument together. Oh, not another think segment. All right, Sonic, come on. Let's not fail. We cannot fail this. We're not doing so bad. I got enough. Oh, that was a little dangerous. All right, we did it. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up. Well, I, you see, I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, you were you really in the library car at all? But how would SBO leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw SBO in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Cody. One that I would love for SBO to solve. You gotta believe me. That cold demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death. So I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't, I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's on to something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting, reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? I'm joining Tails for sure. No, I can't ever interrupt Tails. I'll let him continue. Oh, this guy, the conductor. Cody, my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Oh, Tails. Huh? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? It's gonna be this uh, map, it has to be. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Oh, more thinking. I love thinking. Dun, 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 I hope I can get enough of these rings. Ah! Oh, come on. I was one off. Are you serious? I'll shut up. Let's try it again. All right, there, I got enough. We're in the clear. We are in the clear. The library map. Oh. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked 
down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Ah, uh, yes. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Are you really going to make me point it out? Are you really going to do this to me? Uh, and I can say he was right there. Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most... Uh, <laughs> your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you for both answering the questions. You know what I'm saying? We, we did it. Yeah, we did it. It's a lot of reading. It can be hard sometimes. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise. Sally, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when the, she passed through earlier. And that's our cue to leave. All right, see ya. I'll keep my poetry sharp. Yeah, 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 you, you do that. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. Yeah, 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 SBO. Come on, Cody. Yeah, uh, Tails, I'm, I'm going. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? You know what, Tails? Like, what? Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, yes, the casino. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far and everyone said they've seen you wandering about it's high time you told us why my my talk about a warm welcome quick to the point aren't you darling and i see you brought the microwave master with you hey don't you call me that ah please don't let that be my legacy tails is right folks have brought you up a lot care to explain tell them rouge we're gonna need the help Blaze. All right, I've been hurt. <laughs> I almost said hurting. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Tre 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 treasure. They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well. It's a Fabergé chow egg. I think that's how you say that. Well, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already. So everything is well taken care of. She wrote me in on this hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car locked in a safe wait so the treasure is real it's actually here and what did you manage to find rouge oh well why don't you both take a look i found the train's blueprints in the library car with the safe code written right on it the score of a lifetime the train's blueprints please rouge let us see that uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. 
so you want us to help you steal the chow egg. Blaze, you don't have a problem with this. I see no issues here. Sounds like fine business venture. Uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Cody, do you have an opinion on this? I don't want to look for an egg. Stealing us for squares. I think the only square here is you, microwave master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've ever heard someone say. No, no, my cool and mysterious reputation is crumbling. All right, all right, I'm in, I'll help. Well, I suppose that both Blaze and Cody are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh my. Oh boy. What have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard? We definitely attack him. I can't say I'm comfortable attacking a chow. Let's keep, let's keep the violence to a minimum. Well, that's fine, but I agree. Let's think about it again. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, I guess we can distract him. Distract him. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Cody, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems like, or seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be a in a casino, my pecker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Uh, it's definitely going to be uh, Blaze. I think you, you could distract the guard, Blaze. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Punch up. I just said punch. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Um, the, the machine's stuck. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This will work great. Okay. With the guards distracted, Rouge, how will you get access to the access card? How will you get it? Huh? How will you do it? Uh, grab them and fly up to the rafters. Ask for the card. Grab them and fly to the rafters. That sounds kind of cool. I don't know. I don't want any violence. Oh, Tails, come on. There won't be any violence. I'll just, I'll just tie them. Where do we get the rope? Interesting point. Maybe we should try something else. Oh, okay. Well, just pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key. No problem. The chow and uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Cody, what's your plan? Um, say there's a drink without a coaster. Push the security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. Uh, yeah. Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I, um, you dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. Okay, well. I guess we'll try something else. I'm going to say there's a drink without a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And uh, with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll, make it, we'll all make it into the elevator. Inside, we do a celebratory dance, pop some apple cider, sing victory a cappella. We're going to dance. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we know about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Or what do we do about them? Um, uh, we'll have Tails disable them. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is 
taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Um, cry and hope they sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Let's pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Merlin's, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. Okay. I knew that plan would go off without a hitch. Oh, so we already did it. I couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have made, you have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Yeah, it's probably not even there. What could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too. Rings? You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize. Right. We gotta find the safe with the Fabergé chow egg inside. Oh, it's right here. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. Oh, it's actually there. I have it. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Oh, you can open the egg. You sure can. And all, <laughs> and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Uh-oh. Tick, 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 tick. Uh-oh. It's a bomb. Um. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg? <laughs> has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Oh my, there's so much. Eat it. Nothing without any salt. I won't. Um, really, Cody? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Um. Uh. Toss it in the elevator. All right, down it goes. We're clearly not going to blow it up. <laughs> We're not going to blow up the elevator. Let's rethink this. Oh, uh, let's try to cut the wires. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire. You got to cut one like the movies. This isn't a movie, Cody. This is real life. <sighs> He's got a good point. Which one is it? Twist the egg again. Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Smash the egg against the wall. All right, here goes nothing. Rouge. We uh, should probably think of a different plan. What do I do? Let's just let it finish. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Cody. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that. But what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Cody, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry. It's just SBO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. 
During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. The robotic arms can also attack weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. That's it. These robotic arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as the Fabergé Chow Egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. And we wait. The egg, it opened. It's not, it, it, it's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew, my, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. E, and look what's inside. Wow, look at that sparkle. And it's so heavy too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the tale. Wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun this <laughs> as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. My heater is on, so I guarantee you can hear that. That's rough. <laughs>